ओके फर्स्ट आई गिव थैंक्स टू माय लिविंग गॉड एंड आल्सो एज वेल एज आई ग्रीट यू ऑल इन द माइटी नेम ऑफ आवर लॉर्ड एंड सेवियर जीसस क्राइस्ट फॉर मी इट्स द ग्रेट इम uh anyway whatever the time it may be but as we are in the presence of god it's very very uh pleasant for us and it's very uh means important things for us that uh, by the help of god and by his uh, mercy and by his loving kindness only today we are here that's what uh, as a human being we should think and we should understand that without a god we can't live here in this world if god leave us for a while for a moment then we may be collapse or we may be destroy our life we may be away from a uh, god or away from this world that start uh, uh, we should think about so as in the last time i was mentioning about the word of god from book of luke uh, chapter 12 there we is so about the world though this world has created by the god the father but but day to day life this world has been leading and ruling under the satan that's what we he discuss about the day but today about that reason only i want to talk to you why we should understand and we should go through that war why because still though we have chosen by god and though we are the servant of god we are the son of god we are the daughter of god and we are the children of god but we are in this world this is main things we should understand as we are in this world the world is ruling under control of satan so we know very well according to the word of god the satan will never allow us to go ahead or never allow us to do such a great things so that's why it's very very essential or it's very very important for us to understand one things and we should we cause and we should keep great deep relation with our mighty one our lord the father our god who has created us and who has called us and who has been leading us and who has been providing our day to day shelter food accommodation what and everything as we are having today in this world because if god doesn't do such a thing if we don't receive anything such a things to survive our life in this world so think about what will be our life what will happen to us and how we will be survive our life so that's why my dears in christ according to that i just want to explain in a short way that from the book of psalm we can identify which is very familiar which is very well known to each and every one of us or the children of god that what what it is saying to us shall we look on and shall we discuss about that the book of psalm 23 it says like this the uh, book of psalm 23 here we can see there are uh, six verses but among the six verses i have divided some version that means some uh, four or five points are there so i am not going to explain all of it but i am going to explain some points what the word is saying to us 
according to today's situation, according to today's world. As we are the human being, we are staying in this world. So we should have this world and we should work and we should act according to this world. Then only we can get the great victory over this world. That's why. So the verse number one, it says like this, the Lord is my suffer, I shall not want. See? The King David is saying here, means he is not saying simply, but he is saying by having great experience in his life. What God did for him and how the great miracle has happened in his life and how the experience he had from God in that way the King David is saying that the Lord is my servant I shall not want. That means here we can see that is the King David and our King of King, or our Lord of Lord, our Lord the Father. They both had a great relationship. That's what we can understand here. The first thing is relationship. As the King David was having a relationship with God and he was getting a victory over what kind of situation maybe or what the great problem was in front of him maybe but he was not bothering about anything he was not thinking even a single drop like because because you know one thing why he was not bothering? Why he was not thinking even a single drop? Even a small thought? Because he was having the great relationship with his father. He is Lord. That's why he was not thinking about anything. Or he was not worrying about anything. Openly. Boldly, he was saying that, Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Without having any relationship with anybody, without having any close relation or any close dealing with anybody, no one can say such a way. That's what we should understand. So today, in this world, we are living and this world is not able or the world doesn't want for us to go ahead or the world will not allow to us or not allow us to go to do some good work we know very well because this is under control by Satan and Satan doesn't want that we should stand from, we should be in front of, or we should be bold, we should do good things, which is giving glorify to our living God. Always Satan wants to get victory. He doesn't want to lose. That's why, my friends, my beloved, my dear in Christ, today, as the day David was having the relationship with God, we also need to keep such a great relationship with our living God. Then only we can get the victory in this war. Then the second point, the second word it says like this, he makes me to lie down in green pasture. He leaves me beside the still water. Hallelujah. See here, 
in this word we can understand that king david and god in between the both that they were having the leadership i mean that he was keeping god as his leader that's what in verse 3 also says he is tall my soul he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake hallelujah see how great king david is seen by having good experience so today also if we want to see the great experience if we want to see the great victory in our life in this terrible war so we should have the first thing is relationship with our lord and the second thing we should make our lord to be our great leader or to be our great leadership according to his leader if we go if we run if we move how he will lead us according to that then definitely definitely we will be in his name say or we will be in a right path or we will be in a righteousness or we will be in green pasture or we will be in beside the still water how much the satan wants to be he make us in struggle or make a uh, put in in the dangerous situation or he wants to be a great obstacle in front of us it may not stop it may not stop it may not harm to us it may not to give us to any depress or any stressness but but if we have the leader then definitely he will allow us to overcome that things then the next we can see the verse four it says like this yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for you are with me you are rod and your staff they comfort me hallelujah see because they will know the god's staff and the god's rod they will comfort him because such a relation he had or such a great leader he kept according to that here he is keeping the friendship as we know in this world when we have the good friend when we are in the dangerous situation when we are in the struggle when we are facing some problems in our life then a good friend cannot look over a good friend cannot stop to help us the same way if we are keeping or making our lord to be as our good friend then definitely our god's rod and our god's staff will give us a comfort and they will help us and they will protect us so that we may not be fear for the death or we may not fear to any evil things we may not fear to any great tragedy will come in front of us also because the friends is a great hope then the verse 5 what it says you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my cup runs over see here we can see the great fellowship with the lord because of the fellowshipness 
or because he had good fellowship with God, that's why he is saying that he will prepare the great. So no one is there. No one is there. Prepare the great fellowship with the enemies. Or not only that, you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. So, my dears, we should also keep the fellowship with our Lord. Fellowship of our Lord. Then, The lady, the widow lady, she was praying. She was praying. And she was saying, by exhorting herself, you are servant. What a great servant. He did great things for you. And now such a terrible situation came. The enemies are coming to take my sons. Lord, what should I do? She's asking. By the time God did not allow the enemies to come and take his son, but he sent his servant, and there the miracles happened. The miracle happened. That's why. Fellowship. My friends, my dear friends, I want to tell you one thing. In this world, as we are living, this world will never give us the peace. This world will never allow us to get victory. So if we want peace, if we want to do some great things for our living God, if we want to glorify our God, if we want to get the victory in this sua, then we should keep relationship with our Lord. We should allow our Lord to be our leader. And we should keep the friendship with our Lord. Then, according to the verse, finally, he will create a great compassion. Then, he will allow us to enter his great citizenship, that is, in heaven, that is, in heaven. Without victory, we cannot enter into that, his great citizenship. So, these things should keep in our mind. And we should think, we should think as we are in this surah. Always, always try to keep relationship with God. Always allow our God to be our leader. And always keep friendship with our Lord. And always keep fellowship with our Lord. Then only he will allow, allow us to be become a great citizenship for he and get the victory. Then finally, he will allow us to enter in heaven. So, if we don't have such a things in our life from today or not, shall we took a decision to keep relationship with God, to allow him to be our Lord, lead us and to allow be, to keep friendship with him and to keep fellowship with him and uh, try to get the citizenship in our life to enter in heaven. May this short meditation, Lord God, bless us together. Amen, amen, amen.